Hello everybody or welcome back to my channel. So today I have made some blind bags. These here of these little mini toast paper squishies. I absolutely love them. I've done four designs in total. So we've got the common one being a plain, uncommon being the peanut butter, rare being the grape jelly and then we've got an ultra rare being a mystery one. I've created all four designs and I put them in blind bags like of themselves. I think I might make little charms as well and maybe put those on my shop in a month or so. I don't know whenever i can do them and make them into blind bag charms because i really really love all four of the designs obviously one's a mystery for now i haven't shown that in the tutorial today but it will be coming on a short when i post the kind of unboxing of these i won't do it in this video i'm going to do it on the short so definitely make sure to subscribe so you can see what the final design is um i do want to say a huge thank you to anyone who has subscribed recently has liked any of my recent videos and stuff i've had a ton of fun making the paper squishies as well as other cute crafts coming i'm basically posting every single day for january so if you want to stay tuned for all of the cute koi crafts and definitely do so if you have any requests or any suggestions for any future videos that you would particularly like to see then definitely leave them down in the comments i am reading every single one and trying to reply to them all so yeah today's video i'm just going to show you how to put together these mini paper squishy blind bags so obviously to start off with making you need to make the little mini paper squishies to go inside i actually bought some new pens recently and these are the Windsor and Newton Pro markers. Really, really, really like them. I wanted to get hold of some Alcor markers that you could like buy individually rather than just in sets. So I visited a local art supply store and I found these and they've worked out gorgeously. They look a little bit darker, but they dry a lot lighter. The colours that I used for the bread were the colour sandstone and the colour caramel, just in case you are wondering. So sandstone's this lighter shade here. I did use my usual Arteza just felt markers for the kind of like inside pieces like the decorations so the grape jelly and then the peanut butter as well as you can see there just doing that in the burnt sienna shade but obviously if you are making the mini paper squishies then you want to start off with the decoration or like the toppings first and then use the bread kind of going around it anyway to make the eyes and stuff on the little pieces of bread i used acrylic paint because that just sit along them better just created a better contrast to the mouth and stuff like that in a black acrylic as you can see and i also added some little highlights to like the grape jelly and the peanut butter i did also add pink acrylic to the inside of the mouth on the grape jelly one as well as a blush on all of the others and then i left that to dry so once dry i folded over my paper so that it was kind of doubled up and then i cut around each individual toast to make like the paper squishies then just colored in the back of them to be like plain bread just the darker color around the outside the lighter sandstone color in the middle and then i covered them in clear tape just securing the front to the back with little snips in and just like wrapping it around once i had like covered half of the squishy so i started with like the top curve edge first i just found that easier as you can see here i put little slits in and then just folded them over one by one just to create that nice rounded curve i then just stuffed it with some plain polyfill stuffing just to give the nice squishiness kind of feel going on and then i just proceeded to secure up the bottom of each toast piece after it was stuffed just in the same way taking some more clear tape popping that on nice and flat cutting little tabs and then just folding them over one by one until the whole thing had completely sealed as you can see on this one here i had a little bit of a crease in i don't know what's up with this tape that i'm using recently but it keeps putting creases in my things and i'm getting really annoyed when i'm editing the back i'm like that just looks so bad so ignore the little creases um but anyway here's three of the designs all done apart from that ultra rare one because i want to keep that a bit of a secret for the shorts for when i actually open them up here's the plain one the one with the peanut butter on there i think that looks adorable and then the grape jelly one as well really really like that i just love the design so i think i am going to make little charms just to kind of like um replicate these i just think they're so cute i love them so so much anyway so yeah there's the three designs on the blind bags themselves i did actually like design this on my ipad and then i just printed it out into like a quarter on an a4 piece of paper so i had four of the exact same blind bags because i wanted them to all to be matching if you wanted yours to be matching you wanted to hand draw them i would recommend kind of doing that either four times or doing it once and then maybe scanning it on your computer and printing that out four times i think that would work well so anyway i got the quarter pieces 
I did realise that I actually missed off the N when printing them out because it didn't quite match up with my printer, which is annoying. So I had to go fill that back in and do some little squiggles on there, but I did get that sorted in the end. I turned them into bags by covering them all in tape and then just securing them on three of the sides. So each of the long sides I went with first, just making sure that it's secured onto some plain paper on the back to make it the bag. Then I went along the bottom and along the other side and just filled up the middle part just so that it was all nice and neat and shiny. Once all three sides of the bags were kind of sealed and done, I was then able to put the paper squishy inside of the blind bag and then just seal that up as well just to make sure it was nice and secure. So in order to cut it open, you just cut across that little dotted line and then it will be done. So yeah, here are all the blind bags. This is how the bags turned out. Really, really like them. Really annoying that I messed up on the ends, but I've kind of just drawn on all of them so then I don't know which ones I am going to be opening on my shorts. So definitely stay tuned to that to see what the mystery one is. I won't be opening them on today's video, but um yeah, there they are. Amazing. Like I said, stay tuned for the shorts. If there's any videos that you want to see coming soon, then definitely stay tuned for those. Subscribe so that you get notified of all my future uploads, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.